Silicon is uh, um, in the hearing healthcare uh, industry um, where we strive to provide products that can help people with hearing disabilities to, to basically live a normal life, which is then hearing aids or hearing implants as well as fitting equipment for, for hearing aids. The main challenge for, for many years has been to make the instrument smaller, maintaining the performance that the instrument has in relation to sound output. Today hearing aids is, is a lot more than just a, a sound processor. Today it's also a convenient instrument that helps people basically be free in their daily environment. Now the difference between uh, designing an instrument to make it smaller and keeping the design, that means that you have to work with, with, with the complexity of making things smaller. And we have had huge success with that for many years by a simple trial and error process. But today the complexity of the instrument and the, the input of all the things that we have to put in, that means that we can't just do it by a trial and error. So therefore we decided to move into simulation to, to be better at, at predicting the effect of the hardware as such, how that influences the sound. In the old days after a test, you would have uh, different people. Uh, all of them had their own idea of what is the reason why things don't perform as, as we want them to. Uh, with the simulation, you can turn on and off uh, effects and see what is actually the real root cause of the problem. The big time uh, problem in our company is to develop uh, new platforms, uh, new hearing aid designs, uh, where if you don't understand the problem that you have, you can, you can get a long delay in, in the development process. When you do all the test work, you get results, but you don't necessarily get an understanding of, of what's going on. So even though the test methods get more and more advanced, uh, you still can't really see inside the instrument you're building, what's going on on a small level, and all that is available if you have a simulation. The future of simulation is we are, we are simulating the hearing aids on, on the head of a person. Uh, so we want to make sure that we don't just optimize a design for a specific test case, but also that we actually optimize the product for our end users. Mm -hmm.